whenever you succeed, there's always more ahead. In other words, just because you've achieved a goal doesn't mean you're finished. It always means there's something more. <laughs> and so you continue to, uh, in your uh, infinite quest, occasionally broken by uh, points of solace and, and relaxation, uh, you continue to plot forward, and this is what we're doing with the vlogs, and this is what the vlogs actually record. They record a journey that is infinite in its nature, and only provides brief breaks uh, as you move from goal to goal. And that being said, at 7.20 in the morning, 7.22 in the morning, on Tuesday, September 29th, and our vlogs, in terms of uh, what we're filming and what we're uh, uh, posting, are about uh, 20 days apart. So uh, when you're watching uh, this vlog, it's 20 days out from uh, uh, from when it was first filmed. And that's just due to the nature of the day and the way things started, is that there were these lags in there as we first started out, and there's always lags, there's always complications, there's things that sort of trip you up and uh, make things not so easy, but again, then again, if you're a person who likes the journey, then the journey is the, is the, is the, um, is the goal itself. And problems should be expected. The problem, problematic areas or issues and things that trip you up is part of the journey. This is this is what makes the journey the journey. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing an exploration in the mind or exploration in the feet, you know, out in, in some uh, uncharted wilderness or, you know, whatever it is. Uh, I watch these RV uh, channels on uh, I, off the uh, path of Clintus. So I talk about all these, the, the, the basic path of the YouTube stroll, and I view them as paths. You're walking along them. And in the Clintus area <laughs> of YouTube, I've put a, because he was doing RVing, I put a lot of RV channels there. There's a number of RV channels that I go by and I watch every now and again. Uh, and you see the struggles that are before them. And you see some of these daunting tasks, and this is why I view, you know, the, the, the Clintus series has, has the RV channels. And you see the daunting tasks that are before them, and yet they go to it joyously in many cases, uh, because uh, this is their choice of lifestyle, this is how they like to live. And my uncles were a lot like that. They were always repairing and fixing and building and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, to achieve the things that they wanted, uh, it, nothing ever came easy, and this is what what I took from uh, the surroundings around me and allowed me to go out on a path that is really unbeaten. Uh, there are very few people who are on the path that I am on, that I'm on. Uh, most people take a safer route or or something that is along you know called more stable along their lines, but. I chose to go it as far as I can, and I, in, 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 in understanding the, 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 in any ways, the joys of struggle, you begin to understand for the spiritual aspect of things that there is also a joy in the struggle as well. And so that the meditation, the prayers, even though the prayer meditation is the most basic meditation, it is also the most powerful meditation. Uh, if you get in the right frame of mind, if you make the right the right contact with 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 God, uh, and then it says for me is through Christ. Then, the benefits are not merely the immediate successes and goals. It is the eternal is that that your your soul will become immortal and that you will live forever. That that you will have this, we'll call, a a growth from glory to glory, from from, from grace to grace. That your knowledge will continue that you will continue to sort of have a, 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 a not necessarily a beneficial existence in terms of the things that you achieve and, and, and are given 
beneficial in the sense that it is a happy life. It is a, it's not something that is uh, a life of drudgery or, or a life of regret. It's a life of peace, a life of, life of solace. And it's in, an infinite life. A never-ending life, an eternal life. And this is what we seek is, is that in our spiritual stand, in understanding of things, is that we seek this eternal bliss, this inter, uh, the eternal happiness, the eternal life. But a lot of people can't see that because they, their expectations are more immediate. And this is what causes a lot of the problems in our world, is because people want the immediate as, as opposed to the eternal. And this is this is part of our struggle is to separate ourselves from these the the trivialities of life in some ways and seek the higher struggle. But it's not an easy path. But for those who enjoy the path, well this is the way you go. I am back at the gaming uh, desk, uh, the research desk as well. It is uh, four nineteen in the morning on Wednesday. I think it's the thirtieth. Let me check. <laughs> need to do, I need to check again. Yeah, here we go. I have a. I have a calendar that pops up on the lower monitor. Uh, you always have to check because you never know. You never know for sure exactly what day it is. At least I don't, anyways. So I do have to check to make sure. And of course, when you go back and edit the vlog, you have to know what time, what when you shot this, and where it is in the sort of the uh, the segment or the sequence of uh, of video clips. That you're putting together into a, into the vlog, and this is the end. I was planning to do some uh, sort of an intermediate section, uh, a, a third, a third. Uh, usually, instead of having two segments to the vlog, I'd have three segments of the vlog. I do have more to say, but just it just at the time, I just working on a project, and again, time slips away. But I find that uh, it, the projects in this is a, is a good thing, actually. The projects that sort of slip away from me, uh, and and I was doing research on the uh, at the back at the back desk where where back research desk which, which is the media room. I was actually doing research on there. Sometimes, as you sort of kick the kick the can around, and this is what I was doing. I have uh, on the YouTube path. Uh, I have Clintus as one of my my endpoints. But because he was into RVing, I started putting all the RV channels that I like into his uh, uh, area of YouTube uh, that I end up at. And so every once in a while, I go through these uh, the, these sort of side paths. And this is from Clintus on out, and I look at the different sort of suggestions. And they have people, they have ch other other channels have ch other channels that they follow, and you sort of you you sort of if you will go down the rabbit hole and sort of see what's around, and what I found out is I found out people who are doing. I'm not. I'm not going to say they're doing archaeology. They claim to be doing archaeology, but what they are is treasure hunters. And there's enough information in the video and in the pictures they have that the information can be pulled off of it in a deeper background search that's, that's more historical uh, can be brought to light. Uh, now the thing is, is that more work has to be done. I do have to do a lot more preliminary work. I have to set up a notebook for this. I have to set up, set up a a way to sort of store files, uh, uh, sort of like a circular file where, where you get loose information, you put it into a folder. Uh, this, this is all going to be done digitally. And then, if you need to go out and reach, try and reach out to the person who's putting the content out and ask them, okay. When you did this, do you know where you were? Do you have a, a set of coordinates? Did, do you know uh, where the GPS... Did you have a GPS on you? Do you have a GPS? 
And if you do, can you then sort of put that these coordinates in? And that would sort of be a, a sort of an interesting thing to sort of see whether or not the person actually has GPS, whether or not you can tell, tell what they were, or even give you an approximate about it. Because this is this is this is what will let you into a number of uh, ways of looking at the local history that really never made it into uh, the history books. In other words, you're doing history off the books. You're going into some of the things that may have been left out, one of the re reasons why they may have left out. Uh, it goes into some of the hidden mysteries within history itself uh, that have never really, really been answered. And this is, for me, an exciting form of history because, again, you're out doing exploration. You never know what you're going to get. You're not going to know what you find. And this, but, you know, in the series, in, in, in the sort of the black school mode, It's an amazing thing because this is how history is done for me. This, this is back in school, but the thing is, it, uh, instead of getting some sleep and re resting, I worked way, my way through that time, and I said I was going to stop at 3 o'clock in, in the morning, but ended up going all the way until now. And I'll explain more when I come back in about an hour or so, because there's some gaming to do and some uh, meditation. Uh... Where I ended up. 